Welcome to Tarot TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And for those of you that don't know who we are, Ron and I are the co-founders of The Rich Project and the co-creators of Tyro. Tyro is a Latin word which means apprentice, novice, someone learning something new, a, a warrior. warrior. That's Woo! right. And when we say the word warrior, we mean someone that is equipped and able to and prepared to become a leader in their home, their community, and their workplace. That means this is learned behavior, gentlemen. That means we have to be taught on how to become that person or that man that people are, will follow, that people will look up to, that, that your children will listen to, and that children will be proud of, Ooh. right? Because your best thinking got you where, Dad? Your best thinking got you, what, 9 to 5, 10 to 15? Not 9 to 5, that's that West working hour, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? right? 5 to 9. <laughs> 5 to 9, whatever that might be, because your best thinking got you incarcerated. That's right. And so when we think about Tyro, Tyro is actually the name of, of a suite of programs, professional and personal development, mm. that we developed out of our own experience. So if you're not a Tyro, you need to find out how to get involved in the Tyro program because it's going to help you overcome every obstacle in your life in, in building a strong family and a legacy of strong family. So today we're going to talk about something that, that I think that will not only empower you, but will excite you to empower others once you have these key principles oh. on how to get to the next level Ooh, we, right, of living. Of living, that's right. right. And so many times in life we get, we get uh, surrounded by people that do the same things we do. And so today we really want to challenge you the way you think and we want to ask you, who's pushing you? And I think what Kathy's talking about is birds of a feather, what? Flock together. together. And so if you're hanging around people, we're going to get really deep into this, yeah. that, that, that nobody's pushing you, then what's happening in your life? Are you being stagnant? Are you content? Right. Are you trying not to grow? Because you, practice makes... Permanent. Right. Practice makes permanent, permanent, bad. And so whatever it is you're practicing has become a permanent part of your life. And we want to challenge you in that thinking because we want to see you achieve your absolute greatest potential so that your kids who are watching you and coming behind you can also achieve their greatest potential. But you got to be real, Dad. You got you to look at your environment. You got to look at your what we call ecosphere, your network that's around you. Because if you're not growing in your ecosphere or your, your, your network, sphere of influence. your sphere of influence, if you're not being pushed or growing, then there's a problem going on, right? Because what, what got us into prison, listen to me, because we were grown men with little boy issues. Mm -hmm. And when little boys are among each other, right, we don't see them necessarily pushing each other to become greater than, than the other person. We see them trying to outdo. And stupidity. Right? Right? Do stupid stuff. You know, I remember when I was a kid. Wait, wait, hold right? it. Because we're going to have to take a pause. Oh, okay. And so today we're going to be talking about what it takes to be in the sphere of influence of someone that's going to push you to become better. So stay tuned. And we'll be right back. Tyro Dads will help you to see who you really are on the inside by coming to terms with your past, present, and future. You will begin to move forward by using your time on the inside to transform yourself. We know you're not the only one serving time. Your family is too. Overcoming the issues that existed prior to and during incarceration are often more than what many families can survive. Tyro Dads has a unique method of reaching and healing families based on Ron and Catherine Tiarina's own personal experiences. Tyro Dads Dads works exclusively with incarcerated fathers who have minor children. The program lasts for 10 weeks and focuses on intensive character development. You'll be taught to take responsibility for your actions, to own it. You'll be prepared to overcome the obstacles of incarceration and transition back into your home and community, both successfully and permanently. Upon successful completion of this program, you will earn the title of Tyro, which means a warrior, someone learning something new. You will be one of the honored, a man worth following. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or you want to know more, contact your local project facilitator or your institution staff. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And, and today, today we are talking about who's pushing you. To the next level Ooh, of living. That's right. You know, if you don't have somebody in your life that's pushing you, man, I want to ask you, man, why are you associating yourself? Unless they got you in their life because you're pushing them. Right. That's the only exception. That's right. Right? Now, it's one thing to hang out with your peers and people who are who are on your on your same playing field. But even them, if you're not pushing them and they're not pushing you to reach a new level in life, I'm going to challenge you what's going on. Right. What's this relationship all about? So, Ron, right before we went to break, you were starting to share a story and so share the story okay so you know I remember as kids you know we would challenge each other 
uh, uh, to do something that's probably dangerous. Right? <laughs> I'm and, sure. And in this case, I'm remembering um, jumping ramps. I don't even know if kids do that anymore today. Oh, we they would, do it. We would set up, get our bikes, and we would set up the, the highest ramp and who could jump. And the thing about it was, none of us were concerned about if that other guy got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> or even right? if you got hurt. Or even right? if, and I wasn't even concerned about right? that. And that's not what we're talking about now. We're not talking about people that manipulate you and coerce you and, and push you into doing things that you don't want to do that have negative consequences. We are talking about, do you have anyone in your life that's pushing you to become better, pushing you to be the best that you can possibly be? And if you don't, then that's a problem. And that, that's what it means when we say, who is pushing you to the next level of living? Who's, who's igniting your, the fire in you that sees great potential in you? Mm -hmm. That's your job, is to help that potential that's inside you come out. And, and we want to challenge you today. Today's word is, who is in your sphere of influence? Who do you have igniting you? Because if you don't have anybody igniting you, Mm -mm. Right, right. You then, are in trouble. Well, you know, your wick is out. <laughs> <laughs> your wick is out. That's your wick right. is out. That's right. So when we say who's pushing you, we don't mean who's forcing you to do things that are right. Mm -hmm. Who's saying, well, you are now mandated to do this and you're mandated to do that. That's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is who is in your corner rooting for you. When you get knocked down, they're cleaning up your face. We're talking about who is that person that's telling you this is what you've got to do to make it to the next level. That's what we're talking about. And so we want you to take down just a minute and just write down a couple of names. People that you either know that you want in your corner or people that are in your corner that you know would push you if you just told them that you wanted to be pushed. Now, if you can't write a, a, any names down right now, this is where it comes to being real. You gotta examine yourself. Right. Who, who am I hanging with now? Listen, dads, you're in the penitentiary and you got your little group of guys that, come on, we all have our clique in there. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you got one or two guys that you, you talk to. Are they encouraging you to do the right thing when always? Are they encouraging you to learn something while you're in there? Are they encouraging you to do something that, that the normacy or the masses aren't doing? Mm -hmm. Right? Because there's a thing in the penitentiary called the mass or the herd mentality. And it's not just in the right? penitentiary. It is everywhere in this world. And if, you get, if practice makes permanent, and it does, and you become so conditioned to just follow the herd, Guess what? Mm. When you get out, the same thing is going to happen to you. You're just going to go along with the flow. You're going to move with the herd, whatever herd you end up with. That's what you're going to have their mentality. So instead, what you want to do is set yourself apart by having someone that pushes you to accomplish every one of your dreams. That is what we're talking about. So you know, what, what is it? It's what is it? It's being ignited like the booster rockets. Mm. The, the space shuttle could not get off the ground without the booster rockets. Who are the booster rockets in your life? Ooh. That's what we're talking about. What is it? Who brings that type of that type of gasoline of energy of energy right? in your life? Propulsion. Or Who brings that mm. to you, right? Who propels you to the next level? That's what you need to have. And that's what we're talking about. I love that. Mm. Who is the, your booster rocket in your life? It, because if you don't have one, you're not launching. Man, I, that's it. If you're not launching, then you're not launching anybody else around you. Right. Birds of a feather flock together. Examine your circle in the penitentiary. Because what you do inside the penitentiary, Dad, you're going to carry that behavior, that attitude, that practice with you out here. And it is really important to understand, what is it? It's about launching your vision, your dream, your, your fatherhood into a, a, an atmosphere that is so powerful. A whole new mm. dimension, something you've never experienced before. And so that's why we are dedicating this entire show to talk about who is pushing you. So now I hope you understand, like when we say who's pushing you, we don't mean who's pushing you, like who's pushing negative things on you or manipulating you or forcing you to do things, but who's pushing you to move in the right direction, who's inspiring you, who's motivating mm. you to get to the next level. That's what we're talking and about. And one of the things you gotta be is you gotta be humble enough. Whoa. To, now we're and talk about teachable this, and teachable to let them let let somebody speak this into your life. Let somebody come in and tell you, I can help you excel in getting your GED. I can help you excel in writing letters. I can help you excel in maintaining your family. I can help you excel in, in becoming the best you while you're here. Now, those of you that don't want any better, this show is not for you. Mm. Tyro is not for you. You just want to continue doing what you've always been doing, then you just keep doing that. 
But those of you that really care, you've got to set aside other people's opinion about you making changes in your life and you've got to run after it. So listen, when we come back, we're going to talk about why this is important. You know, you don't want to miss this show. This is powerful. It will ignite you. It will set off that rocket inside you That's and you right. will launch not only yourself, but all those around you. So, so stay tuned. We will be right back. Playing catch, basketball, laughing, and enjoying each other's company. These are all normal things on the outside, but many times are missed in a visitation setting. Tyro Dads brings the same fun experience to the inside through family days. As a Tyro Dad, you have the opportunity to participate in this fantastic event. Family Day is designed to allow fathers and families to engage with each other through activities designed to stimulate communication, learning, and play. Family Days will not only be a highlight for you, but for your children as well. The Ridge Project has strategically developed Family Day as an opportunity to help you connect with your child throughout your separation and help both of you develop skills to continue building your relationship when you return home. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tierina. And I'm Kathy Tierina. And today we're talking about who in your corner is pushing you to get to a new corner. Ooh, that's <laughs> right. right. To get up beyond the corner and actually go up and over the corner and keep getting out of where you are. You know, we talked about a little, in the first segment, we talked about the booster rockets. Oh, and that, yeah. that is really what we're talking that's a about. a great analogy. Yeah, who's, who's the booster in your life? Who's, who's, who's the launch person in your life that when you have a dream, when you have a goal, they are there to help hit that ignic uh, uh, what is that the ignition Igniter, the no ignition. the ignition switch yep. in your life because we're going to talk about why is this important dad to be that person and to have people around you help launch your vision and your dreams and if it's it's, it's if it's a, a GED whatever right. it is because right. guess okay so dad let's just keep it real you don't know everything <laughs> i need you to say that i don't I, know i everything. don't know everything say it again i, I don't, don't know, know everything, everything. And you don't know, and admitting that you don't know everything also brings freedom that you know what, there are people that can teach me things. So if you're hanging around people that are all doing the same thing, they all think the same as you, they've all had the same experiences as you, you are putting a ceiling on your ability to grow. Mm. So if you don't have somebody in your life that's challenging you and pushing you to become better, to achieve more, to, to actually open up the, the full can of your potential, right, and live up to it, then you're going to stay stuck for the rest of your life. And you're going to not only keep the ceiling on you, but you're going to keep the ceiling on every person coming behind you. And more importantly, what, what, what Kathy just said is, and the, the, you're going to keep the ceiling on you, but who else? Your, your children. children. Okay, dads, because this is why it's important. Because right now with you in prison, your children are living a nightmare. Right, they don't know what, what, how to t explain to people where's your dad at, and they're and they're lying, and maybe they're just in denial or whatever's going on with your children. Listen, my children, when they were asked, you know, they had to come to terms in their own grips, but their dreams were being were being suppressed because because I wasn't there to empower them or how to dream. But as I began to wake up in prison and began to sound uh, uh, and, and begin to surround myself with men who were helping launch my visions and dreams, I was able to then impart that ability into my sons on how to dream and I was the booster rocket in their life but I had to get somebody else to be the booster rocket in my life and that's, that's right. why it's important you cannot mm. lead where you will not go and you cannot teach what you do not know mm. so if you don't know how to overcome you don't know how to find someone in your life that's going to push you to become even better then you're going to end up being stuck right you're going to never improve you're going to stay right where you are and, I, and it, it reminds me of the story of my daughter. So our daughter plays volleyball, right? And so she loves to play volleyball. And there's a position that she really, really wanted. And so she's working and she's working. But there was nobody that was really challenging her, which means she didn't have a lot of competition for that position. As soon as the comp so it capped her ability because she only knew to do this well. When somebody else showed up that had more uh, talent, more ability, right? And it was like, wow, this person's in competition for the same position that I want. Now, that person who actually now they're, they're really good friends, they push each other to become better because it's like, you know what? Wow, I'm going to stand right here and I'm going to be your wingman. But now in this, I need you to be my wingman. You need somebody that's your wingman that says, you know what? You can do it. Don't mm. give up. Keep going I love the if you want to make it. I love the wingman analogy. Wing, 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 wingman. Wingman. <laughs> right? Or so wing who's, woman. Well, who's, who's in your, you know, who's, you know, when you're talking about a flight plan, 
You know, when you're on when you're on course, and Kathy's talking about the wingman. You know, I remember the movie Top Gun, right? You yeah. guys remember the movie yeah. Top Gun? If yeah. you haven't seen it, right? When he left his wingman, oh. right? It almost cost him his life. That's right. When you leave your wingman, people get destroyed because you're no longer there for them. Yep. Dads, listen. Right now, your children are counting on you to be not only their wingman, but be the booster rocket in their life. Teach them how to dream. Teach them how to, how to have greater ambitions and to know that there's life after penitentiary. And nobody, mm. say this, nobody, nobody makes it alone. Nobody, Nobody makes, makes it alone. alone. In other words, there's no such thing as a self-made man. If we mm. look at every, every position of authority, every person that holds some sort of authority, every person that we look up to, there were people in their lives that helped them become great. There were people that pressed them and pushed them to get better, to get better, to get better. That's the word. Who's pushing you to get better? Mm. Not who's pushing you to do wrong things. And why it's so important is because if you never get better, then you are letting down your children and your family. You're not just letting yourself down. You're I letting love down the, your children. I love the story about uh, uh, Truett Cathy, yes. the owner of Chick-fil-A. When his competition showed up, right, and that was Boston Market Chicken, and the board, of, they were having a big meeting, and the board was there, and they're for panicking Chick -fil for Chick-fil-A. Yeah. They're, they're, have, they're having a big panic attack here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Boston Market Chicken. And then as Truett Cathy listened to the board members and now the, the staff talk, oh my gosh, what do we do, what do we do? He's, he wasn't talking yet. And finally he spoke, he said, listen, we gotta become better before we get bigger. Because mm -hmm. the people would demand after we get better, they would demand us to become bigger. Okay, now right? let's personalize that for you, Dad. So you might have people in your life right now mentoring your children because you are removed from society. And there might be men in your children's life that you're feeling really frustrated, like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Uncle Joe, Uncle Bobby, whoever it is, is showing up, and now my kids are, 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 have a stronger bond with them. How am I going to compete with that? Here's the key. Mm. You're not competing against that other person that's helping your kids. What you're doing is you're becoming so much better that your children want to be with you, that your children are drawn to you, that the mother of your children want you to spend time with your kids because they see the greatness in you. You need to have someone that's boosting you to the next level so that you are engaged with your children and you can lead them well. So I know in society, and you're out there hustling stuff, it's about being the big man on the show, being the big guy and all that. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about being better in every other area of your life, and you constantly accumulate this certificate called, I am better than I was yesterday. That's right. I am better than I was the day before yesterday. I am better than I was a year ago, because you're on this continuous improvement plan. But so you, we've got to right? pause. We've got to pause. We've got to oh, pause right here. And when we come back, we're going to talk to you about how, how do you accumulate those certificates in your life that you are better than you were yesterday. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Dear son, it's been hard these last few years watching you grow up without me in the picture. Never taking the time to find out how you were or what was going on in your life. You're just a boy, I thought. You don't need me. I didn't need my dad. He was never around. I told myself. But I was wrong, son. I'm supposed to be a grown man. I was selfish. I was stupid. I was thinking of me, not you. If I could go back, son, and change things, I would. It's taken me all this time being selfish to finally grow up and realize I need to be a responsible man. That's what I finally learned, not from prison, but the Tyro program. It's all about becoming a better, stronger man. Wish I would have gotten it sooner. Everything looks different to me now. I'm a changed person. I know I need to be there for you now. It's not about me anymore. It's not about being cool. It's not about who I run with. It's about mom. It's about you. It's about being a better man learning something new in my life. It's about being a Tyro, a man worth following. I'm your dad, you're my son, and I love you. I am a Tyro. I'm a Tyro, dad. 
If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or just want to know more, contact your local Ridge Project facilitator or your caseworker. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And I want you to know that I run this relationship. He does. And that's because I push him. And that's why you need someone to push you. To make you and you know what? I appreciate that. I, and that's what we're talking about. Who in your corner is making you better? You know, and I say that jokingly about that I run this relationship, but we have a, we have a, a partnership here. We have a collaboration, and That's it's right. healthy. But my job is it's not... to be the husband. Is to be the husband and, and, and motivate Kathy, tell That's her how great she is, and, and help her and excel. And my job... Right? Is to inspire me and to be the wife, right? And to be a thank you for that, <laughs> <laughs> right? Even though I wear the pants of this relationship, that's right. She tells me which ones to wear, and that way right. we always look good. Right. So we talk about how do you actually find somebody to actually push you, and that means being humble, right? Mm. So if you are all full of pride and you've got to be the person in charge all the time and you've got to know it all, right? And you've got to be right, then you're never going to find anybody that's going to try to push you because nobody wants to deal with it. Like you know what? He's, he's always right, he always wants his way, it's his way or the highway, and so there's no point in me even trying to help him become better because he won't even try. So the next one is you also, after you, you're humble, you gotta be hungry. Mm -hmm. You gotta be hungry. Remember, your children are watching you and they're learning from you, but if you're not hungry and somebody's pushing you, but they, they you know, they're gonna give up pushing on you. You know, you can you, you just say, give me advice, give me advice, but you never practice or you never put into practice what somebody's inspiring you or trying to help you do. Yeah. You know what? They're going to go into somebody else That's and they right. say, you know what? This guy, he, he talks a good game, but he don't want to put no work in. That's right. So right? you got to be humble. you got to be hungry. And the next one is that you also have to be honorable. Ooh, right? so these are all H words, so they're easy to remember. you got to be honorable. That means that you do what you say you will do. And that, so you're going to mess up, you're going to make mistakes, but you're going to own those mistakes. If you're going to be like, okay, what, I'm going to push you to do this, something new, something different. But if you're like, yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. And then you do it, you mess it up. you got to circle back and say, you know what, I did my best and I fell. I need your advice. Now, let me, I want to give you a story real quick about, and, and, I, and I talked about this uh, the other night on one of our other shows. Um, is, you know, when, you have, when, when you're asking somebody to be the booster rockets in your life, and they come and they tell you what you need to do, and you don't do it. You can't get mad That's right. <laughs> at the person who came and told you to do it. So the story is, this, this one gentleman came and he had a vision. He went to somebody and he shared this vision with this person. And this person said, well, I can't help you. In other words, he said, I can't be the booster rocket with your right, vision because right. I got too much to do. But I could tell you somebody else who might be able to be the booster rockets. Now, they didn't use this analogy, but we're going to use it in this story right. because it's, it's, it connects. He said, but I could tell you somebody else who could be the booster rockets in your vision and help you, help you make, it come, make it come true. So he sent them to me. So he came to me, he shared with me his vision and his dream and then goals and ambitions. So I said, okay, this is what I'm going to tell you what you got to do. In order to, to get from here to here, these are the steps you got to take. And then once you hit ignite and your ignition switch, it, you'll take off. And so he said, all right, I'm going to go do it. So he left with the instructions I gave him on, on what steps to take so he could launch his vision. And while he was out doing the uh, the, the uh, Doing the, what do you call that when you're ground out? Work. Ground work. Yeah, yeah ground work. Prep work. The yeah. prep work. He's doing it. Proper preparation prevents poor performance, right? Okay. So he's trying to prepare to launch this rocket, right? His vision. But then as he was talking to other people about his vision, they said, hey, who's telling you to do this? So he told them, well, I went to Ron T. Arena and he told me what to do. He said, then why isn't he doing it? And they convinced him that he should do it. Mm -hmm. So he came back to me and says, I said, so let's see. I thought he was going to give me a report yeah. on what he got done. Instead, he said, hey, I started doing this step one, step two, step three. When I got to step four, somebody questioned me, why was I doing it? And I said, yeah, I don't know why I'm doing it. You told me what to do. You, you do, do it. it. <laughs> so this is what he told me. He actually came back, you do it. And I said, do what? He said, you do what you told me. You go figure this out. And I said, this isn't my vision. This isn't my rocket. You asked me to be the fuel For in your, your delivery, in your, in your mission. Right, yep. I'm yep. just the fuel in your mission. And so guess what? To this day, hmm, he's, he's still on the launch pad. He's, he isn't, right. yeah, he's, he's still, still building there. the launch pad. <laughs> in other right. words, everybody that he was trying to get, no way right, that's right, that's right. So when someone, when you identify someone that you want to push you, you've got to be, you've got to be hungry, mm. you've got to be honorable, and you've got to have new habits. The next H mm. word, the last one is habits. So your habits are going to change. You're not going to continue to do what you've always done, right? 
So if you are humble and you're hungry and you're honorable and you develop new habits, That's good. you are going to attract people that are going to want to push you to the next level. Man, I tell you what, people love go-getters. Yes, they want to help you. That's contagious. Yes. That's contagious when people can help others achieve their dreams and ambitions and they and they, they feel so satisfied. Look yeah. what I have to help him do. And yeah. of course, we give credit where credit's due. Yeah. And then your sons are seeing this. Your sons will only do what they see their dad doing. Right. Yep. Right. Yep. They will only, they will copy you, dad. And when you're achieving your dreams and you can impart that and now you're the booster rockets to your son's dreams Ooh. and ambitions. That's now right. you're leading them on a path of success, not a path of destruction. Right. Mm. And so as you begin to practice these things and you identify people in your life, we talked, we, I said just a minute ago, you're going to attract more help because each time you've got a booster and it takes you up this far, you need a new booster or another boost from the same boosty rocket to take you up the next level. And you know the what? Next level. That is a great analogy on that, Kathy, because if you watch the shuttle take off, right, and it hits a certain point in the atmosphere, yeah. the boosters go away, right? And then another fuel cartridge or whatever they call that ignites and it takes it to the next level. But there's actually a series of things that fall off Mm -hmm. as they move to the next level and the next level. So you might, somebody might come and help you at the beginning stages, but then you come to a new level and that person who got you to this level might isn't going to... Hey, I can't help you go to the next level, yeah. but let me connect you to, or somebody else says, hey, you know what? I know that Joe's gotten you as far as he can. I can help you go to the next level. You know Man. what? Success attracts success. And when you start becoming successful, practice makes permanent. And the things you're practicing in here will transition with you home and they will be passed down to your children and your children's children. Man, this is this is some really good stuff. Yeah. And I hope I hope you're taking it in because I'm telling you right now, practice makes permanent. When you see success, people love to be with you. Yeah. Right? No longer you're the poison. Yeah. You're the antidote. Listen, we come back, we're gonna wrap all this up. You don't wanna miss this. We will be right back. Stay tuned. Tyro Dads will help you see who you really are on the inside by coming to terms with your past, present, and future. You'll begin to move forward by using your time on the inside to transform yourself. We know you're not the only one serving time. Your family is too. Overcoming the issues that existed prior to and during incarceration are often more than what many families can survive. Tyro Dads has a unique method of reaching and healing families based on Ron and Catherine Tiarina's own personal experiences. Tyro Dads works exclusively with incarcerated fathers who have minor children. The program lasts for 10 weeks and focuses on intensive character development. You'll be taught to take responsibility for your actions to own it. You'll be prepared to overcome the obstacles of incarceration and transition back into your home and community, both successfully and permanently. Upon successful completion of this program, you will earn the title of Tyro, which means a warrior, someone learning something new. You will be one of the honored, a man worth following. If you think you have what it takes to be a Tyro or you want to know more, contact your local project facilitator or your institution staff. Welcome back to Tyro TV. I'm Ron Tiarina. And I'm Kathy Tiarina. And today we are having an exciting time talking about the next level living and what it takes to get to that. Yes, which means who <laughs> is pushing you, right? Who's pushing you, man? Who's That's, pushing you? You know, I know in penitentiary when I would uh, associate myself with, with other individuals in there, and there'd be a lot of haters. Mm -hmm. There'd be a lot of people in there. So and, we and, know you're uh, encountering a lot of haters. People that are telling you, man, give that up. You, they're just talking BS, man. You, know, you, you never do it. That's just stupid, right? The proof is in the pudding. That's Listen, right. the life we get to live is because we surrounded ourselves with people. Now, I'm on the inside. Kathy was on the outside. But we surrounded ourselves with a lot of booster rockets. And That's we, right. Those are people in our lives that helped us put our dreams down on paper that helped us take the dream from the paper to, to speaking the dream, yep. to taking the dream from speaking it to really helping others then articulate our vision and yep. dreams yep. to people coming alongside. We could get this, we could bring this, we could yep. bring this. Yep. And, and you know can... what? I can connect you to this person to help you. So when you start practicing those four H's, right, you're going to attract people that are going to want to push you to the next level and then people that are going to push you to the next level and the next level and you're going to be bringing your family along behind you because you're clearing the path for them. You know, Kathy, you, you said it, man. Oh, man. You, you said <laughs> it, honey. Man. I'm, 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 <laughs> woman. 
You said it. You know, your habits have got to change. And here's the key thing. Here's where courageous conversation makes. When your habits change, people will drop off. Yeah. Yep. Right? Because when you change, people are either going to embrace your change yep. or they're going to run from you. Yep. Right? And so that's okay. You got to go with that. You got to be prepared for it. You got to be prepared for it. So when your habits change, your environment will change. Mm -hmm. Where? In here. You will no longer see the penitentiary yep. as, as a place of a burial. Right? Listen, just because you were put in what seemed like a burial tombstone, man, you weren't just, you weren't buried. You weren't hidden. Man, you were planted, gentlemen. You were planted to create something great, not only in your life, but in the life of your children and your family. And guess what, gentlemen? If we can do it, you can do it. You have no excuse no to excuses. not be successful. Your only excuse is your only, your ability to move beyond your past. And that's why you need to find someone in your life to push you. Push you. And then, you know what, that guy right now where you're at, he's wearing the same clothes you're wearing. Don't judge a man by the clothes they wear because people inside the penitentiary are dreaming and they're dreaming and they're dreaming. But everybody is, listen, the dreams that I had in prison, I mean, I surround myself with men who had maybe more time than me, but came in, they had a greater, more understanding about life than I did. And they empowered me to change the way I saw my life, change the way I embraced the experience of prison and began to embrace it and began to learn, began to read, began to study, to see, okay, how do I activate these principles in my life? I had to change my habits. I had to become humble. I had to become hungry. Mm -hmm. And I had to become what was the fourth one? Honorable. Ooh, honorable. Men worth following. That's right. And so we just want to thank you for including us and allowing us to be part of your journey towards reaching your highest potential, being the absolute best dad that you can be. Until next time, family, always remember that, that we are rooting for you. For you.